Wow, I'm still recording. Okay. I am shook. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're in a little bit of a different setup. That's because I have a different kind of video coming at you today. So I've seen this video floating around for a while now and it's where you mix all of X, Y, or Z together. And I think Simply Nail Logical, Christine had started this, so I will link her video down below. But Sophia has did this, Jenna Marbles has done this, and so many other YouTubers have done this. So I thought I would hop on the bandwagon and might as well do this. But, so as you can see, I have a couple nail polishes here, but they are all my old nail polishes. So today I'm going to be mixing all of my old nail polishes together to see what color comes out and more importantly, the consistency of what comes out because I'm going to show you the close-up of some of these, but some of them are rather nasty. So we'll see what it comes up with and then we'll put it on and do some swatches. So if you enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as well as hit the subscribe button so that you are notified of any upcoming videos that I'm going to upload as well as leave me a comment down below if you really like this video. If you want me to do any other kind of videos like this, I'm up for a challenge, so I'd love to do some challenge videos for you guys. And without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so he this is what I am currently looking at. So let's just get a little closer. I have a few e.l.f. ones and I definitely have some duplicates. And then I have Avon, like that's incredibly old, those Avon ones. And then I have a clock. So I have a few Avon ones. And then I have a few that are just, I have one that is a random brand. I'm not sure what it is right there, that purple one. And then I have a bunch of LA color ones and some different bottles from Wet n Wild and Sally Hansen, NYC, and then just some other little ones. So we are going to see what all of these mixed together look like, and some of these are pretty bad. So basically what I'm going to do is I have this little clear bowl. I'm gonna pour some of each one into here. We'll mix it and see what happens. Should I mix them first? Attempt to, let's try to. Okay, so we are about halfway through. This is what the mixture is looking like right now. There's so many different textures and consistencies to it. Let me see if I can get closer. So yeah, as you can see, so many different textures and consistencies in there. We're about halfway through. We have these to go. Those I could not open. And this is what I have done so far. So let's Keep on going.
right, you guys. So this is the final product right here. And then these two are like cement in them. So I wasn't really able to get these two out. This one is, it doesn't even, look at that. That's gross. And these two, unfortunately, I just cannot get open. This is, the lighting is really bad, but this is like a peachy tone. And then this is just like a white tone. So let's, Mix these together and all I have to mix it is I took the tip off of a Q-tip. I am shook. Totally gorgeous. So this is the... Okay, you guys, so I have the final color right here and I have it in a paper towel because I just spilled it all over the floor. So. so I am actually really happy with this color. This is amazing. It has some sparkle iridescent tones in it because of some of the metallic ones. And I wasn't going to keep this on my nails, but I actually really think I'm going to. Okay, you guys, so I am basically living for this color. I'll insert some pictures here. So this is what it looks like with the one coat of it on. And then this is what it looks like with two coats. And honestly, I am in love with this color. So there is just a little bit of flex in it. And there are some of the bigger chunks of the sparkles just because of some of them, specifically this one has the bigger chunks of sparkles in it. So you can definitely see that, but it's picking up a lot of metallicness from these old Avon ones. You can see how old and disgusting that is. That's embarrassing. But I am actually really happy with this color. I only painted one hand because unfortunately, I can't keep my nails painted because of my one job. So I have to go take these off, but I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. It was something a little bit different for me, so I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said before, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, as well as subscribe down below if you haven't already. Leave a comment as well as any other challenges that you would like me to do, and until next time, bye.